In this problem, a rancher wants to fence in 5,000 square feet in a rectangular field, then divide it in half with a fence down the middle parallel to one side. And we want to know the shortest length of fence. So we have a minimization problem. So the easiest thing to do to start off is to draw a diagram. So here's our rectangular region. And we can actually draw the fence down the middle, the third side, uh, either direction. So I'm just going to draw it vertical. And I need variables for each of my side lengths. So I'm going to call this one X and this one Y. So I've labeled the unknowns in my diagram. Now, the 5,000 square feet is an area, so I can create a, a constraint from that. And that's going to be X times Y equals 5,000 square feet. So that's my constraint. Now what is it we're trying to optimize? Well that's the total length of the fence and if we were to go around this fence we have y plus x plus y plus x then plus one more x. So 3x, let's go back to the color we were using, 3x plus 2y is our optimal function. Let's call it L for the length of the fence. So that's the one we're go going to optimize, but before we do, we want to get it to a single variable. So to do that, what we'll do is we'll take our constraint equation and solve it for one of our variables. For instance, y equals 5,000 over x. So when we plug this in, we have 3x plus 2 times 5,000 over x equals L, which we'll simplify. So 3x plus 10,000 over x equals L. So now we're ready to do our calculus. So we're going to take the derivative of L, let's call it, for simplicity's sake, we can just call it L prime. And we're going to do our derivative, so the derivative of 3x is 3. Here we have a power rule. This is going to come out to be negative minus 10,000 over x squared. And we go into our optimization mode, which is to set our derivative equal to 0 and solve. In solving this, first thing we'll have is 3 equals 10,000 over x squared. And we can multiply both sides by an x squared, because that will cancel out over there. And we're almost done solving for x. We're going to divide both sides by 3. Getting a little messy in here, we'll clean it up in the next line. Right now I've got x squared equals... 10,000 over 3, and to solve that we'll take the square root of both sides. We only care about the positive because we're looking at a length, and this is going to come out to be approximately to one decimal place, 57.7. Now, we need y. Well, remember, we found out earlier that y is equal to 5,000 over x. So when we're getting our y, we're going to use that equation, the 5,000 over x. I'm going to use my rounded off answer for x, 57.7. That gives us approximately 86.7 for y. So these are our two lengths. Both of these are in feet. And now we have to ask ourselves, does this answer the question? Well, it wanted the total length of the fence. So we need to go back to our length equation and put in our given the values that we found. So L is going to be equal to 3 times 57.7 plus 2 times 86.7, which is going to give us an approximate length of 346.5, whoops, 346, excuse me, 346.5 feet.
feet of fencing that's going to be needed for this project.